I'm not scared. Words tonight from a state lawmaker pushing a controversial bill in Tallahassee that would make it law in Florida that all public high schools must offer Bible classes as electives. The bill calls for an objective study of the Old and New Testaments in high school. Tonight in an exclusive local interview, Representative Kimberly Daniels tells our Jeannie Blaylock she's ready to tackle the critics. The bill is not constitutional. The ACLU. It violates the wall of separation between church and state. Is ready to fight. Bring it on. Make my day. I'm not scared. Pastor and state representative Kimberly Daniels of Jacksonville is ready to fight too. Your God is bigger than any oppressor. Daniels says her bill is not a religious bill. We're not evangelizing. She says people are critical. Because they don't agree with the Bible. But Jimmy Midyet, an attorney for the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU, says that's not true. Personally, I'm a Christian, so uh, I'm a born again, Jesus believing Christian. I have a personal relationship with Jesus. He's my Lord and Savior. But that's my personal relationship. I'm not using the power of the government to mandate that children be exposed to it. I believe that belongs at Sunday school, in the home, and in houses of worship. Daniel's bill is modeled after one passed in Kentucky in 2017. It's never been challenged in court as far as I know. Uh, no lawsuits at all. That law made big headlines. I'm talking with the bill's sponsor, former representative DJ Johnson in Kentucky. We weren't forcing any students to take a course. We were offering it as a literature course or a social studies course, totally elective. But Midyet says that's not the point, making it Bible only is unconstitutional. That does show that the government is favoring one specific tradition as opposed to all the others. Johnson disagrees. Personally, I believe the Bible's had uh, the most significant impact on Western civilization in our country uh, in history, and I think that's worth studying. And the Bible is full of all kind of awesome stories. Daniels tells me students can benefit from the Bible. The Bible is a book of discipline. And she's confident her bill will become law in Florida despite the critics. I know I'm doing what's right. I know she's not doing the right thing. So quite the debate. The Bible bill, House Bill 195, goes next to an appropriations committee. Last week, an education subcommittee voted 11 to 3 in favor of the bill. Jimmy Midyet with the ACLU tells First Coast News that it's a trend across the nation. They're tracking seven or eight states right now looking at similar Bible bills.